What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, man. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, man, I'm gonna answer a question that I've been getting DMs about. People been asking me how I really feel about not being able to get a Hellcat. So I'm gonna answer that question real quick. It's not gonna be a super long video, so hang in there. Um, I wanna thank everybody for still rocking with me, man. And uh, it's been a long journey waiting for this dag on 300 to get here. Um, but you know, it is what it is. It's just a process of continuing to, you know, still, pursue my hobby man of you know doing these youtube videos because this stuff not easy guys you know what i'm saying like it's it's really difficult to come up with content for you guys that y'all actually going to watch because i just look at the stuff i'm putting out now it seems like when you put out something positive or stuff that you want uh you're trying to help folks that that content don't don't do too well but I'll continue to do it because my goal is to reach at least one person if i can help somebody out and it's just what i enjoy doing it's what i like doing so um, if it don't go viral, that's cool. Cause a lot of people been, I be getting messages like, do more uh, police chase videos. Those are videos that get more views. Uh, I like watching them videos, but guys, that's not necessarily my content. You know what I'm saying? I'm just reacting to it and it's cool. That's fun as well, but that's not like my content. That's why I can't wait to get my 300. So I can put out content that's original. You know what I'm saying? That's somebody else's content that I'm just reacting to, which is cool. That's a that's YouTube. That's how YouTube works as well. But anyway, uh, to answer the question, I am upset that I wasn't able to buy a Hellcat only because that's the whole point of me selling my scat pack was to buy a Hellcat. Um, but the mere fact that the prices are ridiculous, I'm not gonna cry about it. You know, only thing I could do is even make more money. <laughs> or uh, bite the bullet and pay what they asking for. And I'm not willing to pay $100,000 for a car right now. I'm just not gonna do it. Nothing against the folks that do do it. I'm gonna continue to do what I do, man. Um, I'm not gonna just start doing anything just so I can get views. Um, I'm gonna still stick to what I've been doing. And if you guys rock with me, you'll watch it. If you don't wanna watch it, that's fine too. Every video is not gonna be for everybody. I'm up early, man. My son, he got asthma. So I'm on my way to, uh, to get him some medicine. I gotta go by Kaiser. I'm off work today, so I'm doing a lot of running around for my son. But yeah, guys, you know, my advice, man, don't, don't worry about what you have. You know, if you had a scat pack, you got an RT, just be happy with it, enjoy it. Cause they're all good cars. I think the beautiful thing about the scat packs and the Hellcats, man. They're all great cars. No matter if you have a, a older one, newer one, um, you know, we all complain that they haven't changed the car, but there's also a, a good side to that. There's also a positive side to them not really changing that car. That gives people the opportunity to actually own one of the cars without having to buy a new one, and it still looks the same. So somebody could buy a 2015 Hellcat. I mean, of course, if you, the wide body is different, but you could buy a 2015 Hellcat for half the price and your buddy can have a 2019 Hellcat and they look the same, you know? So it kind of works against you, but also it's a plus for other people who can't, you know, check out $80,000 for a brand new one, you know? So that's the one thing I do, that's the one thing I do like about Dodge and even the scat packs. And also the simple fact that you can mod these cars for relatively cheap amount of money. I mean, it don't cost a lot to mod a scat. Um, I'm talking about cosmetic stuff, not trying to make the car a thousand horsepower and all that. We know that costs a lot of money. Um, so that's another reason why I'm not worried about the fact that I end up getting another, you know, 6.4. It's because either way, I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna enjoy the horsepower that I do have. Um, and of course, like I always tell y'all, who wouldn't want a Hellcat? I mean, I'm pretty sure there's uh, Lamborghini people who want a Ferrari and so on and so forth. When you're a car person, you never really get enough. That's why you always have people with multiple cars because you're always feeding that, that desire to want more. You always want to try to get bigger and better. That's just us men in general. We just always trying to get bigger and better. <laughs> And that's across the board. Pause. 
So yeah, guys, I'm not um, I'm not worried about the fact that I got another 6.4. It doesn't matter, man. Actually, it's not the same car, same engine, but it's a different car. You know, and I don't understand why people worry about that so much. Oh, you buy the same car again? It's not the same car again. It's the same motor. Yeah, like most people always say, when are you going to use 700 horsepower? And you know, what's another thing that's crazy, guys. A lot of you Hellcat guys, you always say um, a scat pack would be plenty. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, people put so much emphasis on, uh, I got to get a Hellcat, I got to get a Hellcat. Now, from a YouTube standpoint, I understand why people want to jump out the gate with a Hellcat because it's going to get more views because that's a car that doesn't, that's not as common as the scat pack. So of course, if you're trying to start a YouTube channel, you're going to want to go with the Hellcat. I wanted to give a shout out to my man I saw at the mall. He kind of caught me off guard. Or we could have chopped it up a little bit, but I was kind of in a hurry. And you was working. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate you uh, rocking with me, man. Supporting the channel. And hopefully I'll probably see you again and we can chop it up, man. Rap a little bit. So I appreciate the love, man. I appreciate you supporting the channel. I ain't get your name, so if you, you're watching this video, man, go ahead and leave a comment to answer the question. Man, you know, I wish I could buy a Hellcat right now. I wish the prices were a, a little less than they are now um, because trust me, really, I would definitely buy a Hellcat if I could afford one. There's no doubt about it. Um, but again, like I said, you just gotta be happy with what you have or do something different to be able to get what you want. And that's what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, now I got to step my game up a little more if I want to buy a Hellcat. That just is what it is. Um, them people don't care about how I feel about the, the Hellcat being overpriced. They're going to charge what they charge for them. So it's either I can afford it or I can't. And at this point, I can't afford it. So you know what? Get me another 6.4 and it's going to be a 300. And I'm going to be just as happy to have that car as I would having a Hellcat. Because it's something I want, regardless. It's still something I want. And I'm going to have fun with that car. I'm going to mod it. I'm not going to do anything too crazy, but I'm going to mod it. Um, I'm going to make tons of videos with it. And hopefully you guys enjoy what you have. And if you want something different, you can't afford it, you got to get out here and grind until you can't afford it. Just bottom line, it's just how life works. It's either you can afford it or you can't. Um, and if you want it bad enough, you're going to make a way. Bottom line. So hit the like button, guys. You know, I keep getting that question. And a lot of people ask me, you know, how I feel about not getting a Hellcat. And there it is. Um, I'm a little disappointed that the prices went up. But I know eventually I will be able to get me a Hellcat. Now I have me a 300 6.4 and I have me a Hellcat. So I had the best of both worlds. 